this video, we will go over how to use Adobe Reader to electronically sign a document or PDF document. First thing you're going to need is a scan or a copy of your signature. In this demo, I've got a scan of my signature here. It's come in in PDF form. And what we're going to need to do first is take a screenshot of this so we can have it in the form of an image that Adobe can use. So this is pretty easy. Um, you can use uh, any number of screenshot tools or uh, built-in screenshot capture in Windows. I'm using a tool called GreenShot here. See, I'm just going to draw a box around my signature and then I'm going to save it to my desktop as my signature dot png. Uh, the next thing we're going to need is the document that we need to sign. I've got a document here to demonstrate. And the main tool we're going to need to use in order to sign the document is called Fill and Sign. Uh, you can see that up here in the upper right. Uh, you just need to click on Fill and Sign. The Fill and Sign menu will come up. First thing you need to do is locate the signature. Uh, if you have any signatures already, already in there, you can press the clear button here. Uh, now I'm going to find the signature that I just created. Uh, you can see that there are a number of different options. Uh, you can, if you don't have a screenshot of your, or a scan of your actual signature, you can use this draw my signature feature and try to write some semblance of your name. You can also use a webcam to take a picture of your signature. You can type it. I'll go ahead and type a fake name here. That's acceptable. Or you can do as we're doing, you can use an image. So I'm going to go ahead and browse to the image I created earlier. There it is. Uh, Adobe will import that. I'm going to accept it. And now you can see that my cursor has changed to a kind of a grayed out image of the signature. So I can move this around. I can place it anywhere I want. Can resize it if I need to. So I'm going to move that right here. Make it approximately the size of the length there. And there we are. Uh, at this point all you have to do is save the document. You'll note that it will add the dash signed onto the file name so that you won't overwrite your original. Save that. If you need to date it for any reason, you can do that very easily by saying add text. I'll just go ahead and type in today's date as a demonstration. There we are. Save it again. And we'll close out of that. And you can see that Adobe has created a new document based on the original that contains our signed content. This uh, technique can help you save a lot of time and a lot of paper to prevent from having to print something out, sign it, and then scan it. Uh, it's a good idea to keep your signature image around, or uh, if you need to, you can always use some of the other fill and sign features uh, in a pinch. That's pretty much it. We've discussed how to sign electronically a document, a PDF document, using Adobe Reader. Thanks for watching.